building your planner with um, build a planner is very very easy um, the first thing that you want to do is decide which planner template works best for you out of the three planner templates that are included you have more of a floral type design on the very first template um, that allows more for fitness um, tracking a daily agenda goal setting habit tracking and your daily meal planning and some notes and then you have more of a product plan product or productivity planner with the 2020 style planner here you can um, project plan um, your monthly goals and things like that and then you have another planner down here um, that has pretty much my daily, you're tracking your goals over 90 days and things like that, okay? So once you select the planner that works best for you, you just build on that and it's really super easy. So let's say if you decided to go with the 2020 style project or like monthly goal tracking planner, you would just simply delete all the pages from the other planners. Just like that, you just continue deleting all the pages. So you get to the planner. So we're gonna keep this planner, but we're gonna get rid of all of these pages. And then once you're done, you have your planner here and then you just build it out from there. You'd make copies of your weekly spread, you make copies of your monthly spread for a 12 for a 90 day or a 12 month calendar. You would need to make enough copies of this calendar to build that out. You'd also need to make copies of your weekly calendar. So after each month to then come your weekly, about four to five weeks of these weekly pages. Then of course you'd need to have a project plan for each week, monthly goals for each month, a to-do list for each week or each day, depending on how you like to structure your day. And then notes, you can add as many notes as you want and you simply do this just by making a copy of that. And then for instance, for this weekly calendar, you'd make a copy of this and then you just rearrange it just like that, just by moving the pages, right? So if you wanted to move your project plan and then your monthly goals up here, and then you can also make copies of those and then move them in the order that you want them to go in. So again, it's just you're just building your planner out and you're building it out based on your needs or how you want your planner to flow. That's the best thing about the build a planner is because you get to build it and you get to have say on where items go, right? If this flow doesn't work for you and you wanna have your to-do list before your project plan, you could do that. Um, if you wanted to have your monthly goals before your project plan, you could do that. It's just really about moving things along. If you want to have notes available on your, with your to-do, you could do that. You could just move your notes where you want them to go. Or if you wanted to make more notes, you could do that as well. And then you can we can have a look to see what that actually looks like. So you have your cover for your planner. And then you have your monthly spread on two pages. And then you have your weekly spread. And then you have your to-do list, your notes, your project plan, your monthly goals, and then you start a whole new week. And then it just goes in the same order again, okay? Based on how you want to build out your planner. It's very, very easy and it takes no time at all. You can also change the color. So if these colors are not your brand or if you wanted something uh, something different, you can always come in here and then just change the colors to whatever you want the colors to be just by clicking on the elements and then going in to change the colors. It's really just that easy. You could literally create and have your planner built in about a half hour or so, depending on how many changes that you wanted. Okay. So hope you enjoy build a planner. If you have any questions, let me know.